I started using uh, the voting on uh, learning clip in 2008. It was a great big hit with the children and gave me plenty of data so I knew just where the children's strengths and weaknesses were. One of the things which is very important to explain to children is if their task is the right level, they shouldn't be getting it just right. There should be mistakes and it's letting the children build the confidence to make those mistakes and learn from them. It's helped me loads because we have self paced then. We, we have powers and we can talk to them if we need help or we can go next like to Mr Foster. It's made me a lot more confident about doing maths. Once it's set up, Learning Clip is very easy to use. Uh, you know exactly what every child is doing, you know which children are in school on which days, and you know which children need that extra help. So using Learning Clip's dynamic pie chart, it's really interesting. When you do the first few questions, you might get uh, maybe two-thirds of the class getting it right and a third getting it wrong. The more questions you do, the more green answers you get. And you can tell when it's time to start the activity, when all the children have really grasped it. With the self-paced questions in Learning Clip, you notice straight away that a child might make a mistake or two, but before not too long, you find that they're not making any mistakes and they're not having to do as many uh, attempts at the question to get it right. If you got a question wrong, you wouldn't know if you got it wrong or right until they've actually marked your book. But with Learning Clip, it says try again and it just helps you with your confidence a bit. Because if you're on a worksheet and if you get it wrong, you only find out in like quite a long time because they have to mark it. But when you get it wrong on the active note, Mr Foster tells you straight away. If it was on paper, then it, he might not know what you've done. He might just think you were guessing or something like that. Whereas if it's on the active note, he might come over and say, what, what's happened and what's gone wrong? One of the wonders of learner response is all the information is kept in the cloud which means that I can go to any computer anywhere in the world and I can quickly look and see how well the children have done that day. It also means that I'm not teaching things which the children have already grasped and I can push them further. There's always some children which are very good at getting your attention and always put their hand up first. I never thought that some children ever got the real chance to answer the questions or join in the class as much as they could. If we do self-paced, we've got like our own time to do it. I don't mind when I get an answer wrong because I can try again. One of the greatest surprises this year in using Learning Clip is that actually as the year has gone on the children which are the most able have made incredibly good progress but also the children which were starting to fall behind have actually caught up so now there is far less range of ability in the class than there was at the start of the year. All the children are at least national expectations and most of them are well above and I think this is because that the children are excited about maths, enjoying maths again and really want to do well and it's also fostered peer assessments where children will actually teach another child something which they know which also you know makes sure that they're really challenged to explain their understanding of the maths. I think my results have improved quite a lot and my parents are very happy to see that. My results have improved and my parents think that's brilliant. I really think learner response is the technology of the future for the classroom. It means that you can take a class of 30 children and you can assess them and you can make sure that children don't fall behind. And you can see the progress in real time over 10 or 15 minutes in, a, in the lesson from children not having a great grasp of a concept to really understanding it. I think if it's used on a whole school basis that you wouldn't have these big gaps in a, a attainment in year six. I think they would have been sorted out long before that and I feel all we need now is to make sure that the resources out there are used and more resources are made in the future.